Good afternoon, everybody. I'm coming back with another TTM video for you guys today. So we got one in the box yesterday, which was Saturday. Uh, I also have quite a few pickups I wanted to share with you guys as well. And so um, the, the one TTM return we did get is a point for Team 90s. Uh, and like I said, the rest are just pickups that I wanted to share with you guys so that I can put them away. So I think what we'll do, uh, we'll do the TTM first. So... This is a three out of three success in 23 days. It's coming out of Spokane, Washington. And we picked up former quarterback of the San Diego Chargers, John Freeze. So we got uh, Mr. Freeze on this uh, Skybox Impact. I think it's a 93, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, 94. 94 Skybox Impact. Of course, the 1991 upper deck. And then, last but not least, we got him on the 1992 Fleer Ultra. And you can see he uh, ins inscribed his number 17 on all of them for us. And I got to tell you guys, this 94 Impact, uh, these cards have this, like, uh, whited out background. This is a sweet looking set for autographs. I mean, it's just, uh, it looks really good. I don't have too many of those, but uh, who knows? We might have to see if they're cheap and can pick a can, can pick up a lot up and see if we can get some autographs. So we got a three out of three from Mr. John Freeze. Uh, now the rest of these guys are all pickups, uh, so we'll just uh, go through them really quick. You guys know I'm working on the binder set for 1970 tops, so we picked up this Sporting News Carl Yastrzemski. We needed uh, we needed one of those. We have the base card of of Yaz, but we needed the uh, sporting news. So we got that. Then we picked up this card number five sixty. So it's closely it's getting close to that high series. Picked up Mister Gaylord Perry when he's with the Giants. Then gotta take it out of the case. Make it easier to see. Then we picked up Tony Oliva with the Twins. He actually has a private signing. I don't know if I'm going to get it out to him or not, but I'd like to. Uh, I just don't know if I'm going to. I have a couple big ones coming up, and uh, I can't overextend. And the last card I picked up, I'm going to leave in the penny sleeve, is the... Uh, what is this? 19. It's a 1996 Topps Chrome Eddie George rookie. And some of you might be like, what the? Why'd you get that? So, I was a huge Eddie George fan. I know he was a Buckeye. Uh, but I was a huge Eddie George fan. And he has a private signing coming up. So, uh, I am going to send out to him. And we are going to get him to sign this and inscribe this. Uh, because of the shine and because of the darkness, I was thinking of him doing a paint pen. So I was thinking of him maybe doing a white, I think a white paint pen would look good on this. Uh, and then I'm going to have him inscribe a couple things for me as well. So that's why we picked up the Topps Chrome Eddie George Rookie. That will look good signed and slabbed. I'm excited about that one. Then guys, uh, you guys know... I'm closer and closer and closer to finishing the 1990 Donruss autograph set. And uh, the last few were definitely difficult. And I, like I've told you before, sometimes you got to take chances. Uh, sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. And that's the instance on this one. Uh, I've only seen one other Claudel Washington 1990 Donruss pop up since I've started the set. And I missed out. The uh, I got overbid. I mean, the card went for a crazy amount, and I just got outbidded. I saw this one come up for a good price. Red flag number one was the price was really good. Uh, red flag number two, the autograph is super, 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 super streaky. But that could be a bonus, too. I mean, if someone were to forge it, I would think that they try to make it a nice, super clean autograph. But... Uh, there's just a couple things with the autograph that I'm kind of iffy about. So I took a chance. We'll send it off, Get see if we can get it authenticated. Uh, if not, I guess we'll be back to the drawing board on Mr. Claudel Washington. Of course, he's uh, deceased, been passed away for quite a few years now. Um, he was a fantastic signer. You could find autographs from him all over the place. You just can't find them on a 1990 Don Russ. <laughs> so 
we'll see how Beckett feels about this autograph, and we will go from there. So right now we're marking Claudel off, uh, but depending on the outcome, we might have to put him back on. So we got Claudel Washington right there. I think the rest of these cards, guys, are all private signings. And I'm going to tell you guys, I got my Holy Grail card signed. Uh, some of you might, when I get to it, be like, whatever. But for me, it's a Holy Grail. And it turned out amazing. And I'm excited to share with you guys. That's going to be the last one, of course. But first up, we finished off the 1988 World Series ticket. Of course, I had Jose Canseco sign it. We had Glenn Hubbard sign it. And now we got Mr. Tony La Russa to sign it. Uh, he's a great TTM, uh, TTMer, but uh, I didn't want to take a chance with this through the mail, so we, we hit him up on a private signing. That's the only reason I went that route. So we got those three autos. I'm done because I don't want to cover up any of the information. And then on the back, we have a couple JSAs. Uh, one was for Canseco, one was for La Russa. Uh, and so we will get this off to Beckett and have Beckett slab that up. And we'll call it a day on that World Series ticket. I'm glad. I, I, I love how this turned out. I love how the autos didn't have to cover up anything. So that, that turned out great. <clears throat> Next one, guys, is the 1990 Donruss MVP. This takes me down to two left, uh, which is Julio Franco and Carlton Fisk. Franco, I'm getting through a private signing. And Carlton Fisk, you can get... Uh, with a donation for cancer. So I should be able to complete the MVP set, no problem. Uh, but we saw Tim Raines do a private signing. And for whatever reason, Beckett is difficult on his auto. I don't know why. So I figured I'd hit him up in a private signing and get it authenticated and then go that route. So we got the autograph and we got an inscription three-time World Series champ. And then on the back... We got the JSA authentication. So we got Mr. Reigns on the MVP card there. And, of course, I also needed him on the base card. So got him on the base card. And on this one, we had him inscribe Hall of Fame 17 for 2017. So he is done for the set. And just like the other one, flip it over. We got the authentication from JSA. So I am happy about that. So guys, right now, uh, with the Caudel and the Tim Raines in the base set, I have eight cards left to go. In the MVP set, like I said, I have two, and both of those should be, well, will be easy to get. So I have a total of ten cards left for the base set and the MVP set combined. Um, so we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Uh, the next one, I thought this turned out great. It's the 1985 Tops Tony Perez. And uh, in my prior videos, I let you guys know on the 85 Tops, I'm trying to get two inscriptions if possible. And so Mr. Perez inscribed three-time World Series champs and Hall of Fame 2000. He did it in the thin blue Sharpie. Uh, it's it's harder to tell on camera than it is in person, but turned out great. Happy about how this looks. First, the Tony Perez auto. Thinks think it looks m m perfect, man. I'm just I'm so thrilled. Uh, the way it's worked out is with these 85 tops, I've gotten a lot of the big names for the Cincinnati Reds knocked out already, so that's kind of nice. But uh, if I can find good deals. Uh, I'll, I'll send off. Uh, I'm not trying to spin an arm and a leg on the 85 top set, but I do like the approach of getting uh, two inscriptions uh, added on. It just adds to the card, in my opinion. So we got Mr. Tony Perez there. And now, guys, the holy grail for me. I am so... I, I'm over the moon with how this turned out, guys. Uh, this is definitely the first card going into Beckett. Um... I couldn't have asked for it to look any better. Uh, it's just it's just amazing. It's the 85 Tops USA Baseball Mark McGuire. You can see he signed a perfect signature across the middle there for me. And we got him to inscribe 87 AL Rookie of the Year 
and two-time World Series champ. Oh my god, guys! I am so excited about this card. This this card. This is the card for me. I'm sorry. I even jokingly told my wife when I die, this is going in my casket. Uh, this is just this is my holy grail. Uh, I know it's not to most of you, but to me, this is just amazing. We got the JSA cert right there, but this is my guy. And I just love how this card turned out. Uh, going with the 85 top steam with two inscriptions. And I figured, what the heck. It was a pricey one, but it was well worth it in my opinion. So that is it, guys. That, that This is ah, just speechless, guys. I just can't believe I got it done. But that's it, guys. That is the video. Uh, had a lot to share with you guys. Thank you guys for sticking along. Thank you, Mr. Freeze, for signing. Uh, that's a point for Team 90s. Uh, I'll make sure Caleb and Chase get tagged on this video. And I will start putting all this stuff away. I appreciate you guys sticking along for this 11 plus minutes. Thank you guys as always for the support. Hope you guys all have a blessed evening. Until our next video, see ya!